G'day folks, Church here again, just following up on yesterday's video on the Mavic Mini Waypoints via the Mavic Mavin app. And as you can see by the title, she was a ripping success. So we'll jump straight in, we open the app up, and as you can see there, you, you've got the Mission 1 that we created yesterday. So we'll click on that, it'll zoom into the map, obviously you've got to be pretty close by, otherwise it's going to piss off and fly a long way away if you pick the wrong mission, but... Um, so at this point we've got the Mavic ready to go, it's turned on, it's calibrated, everything's done. All we need to do is open the app, hit the ready button, which is that rocket. Then it'll ask you, do you want to run mission? Hell yeah! Push the button, sit back, crack a beer and enjoy. So I got a bit nervous, obviously being the first autonomous flight. I've, you know, a little bit of wind around, which you'll see in the top right. Um, but essentially it just it gained altitude, went straight to the first waypoint. And once it gets there, you'll see I commanded it to start recording. There's your high wind warning. Ah, don't worry about that. Should be right. Commanded it to start recording. Boof, there it goes. And straight track through. And that's the actual mini footage. Um, straight out of the camera. Or oh, a little bit of editing there with the colours. But uh, yeah, pretty much straight out of the camera. And off it went. Boof, straight to the second waypoint. And um, now with this one, I, I, I didn't control the gimbal through the app. You can control it manually if you wish, which I normally would do. I'd probably scan down a little bit on that pool, but um, for this one, I just wanted it clean straight out of the app to see what it would do. Gets to the first waypoint, swings itself around. Now this is where the progressive mode comes in. So as it's going towards that third waypoint, it's actually going to swing the camera around to be in the position that it's facing when it gets to the third waypoint. Now, this is another view that you can do in the app where you can actually see what's happening. Um, it's a little, clearly not as quality footage that comes straight at raw out of the actual uh, drone, but pretty handy. And you've got a few other features there. It's got your height, your distance, your speed, and your batteries and satellites and so forth. So I find that's pretty actually handy because really, once you've done the map, you don't want to watch it. Uh, following itself on a map, you're better off seeing what you can. But as you can see, she's just smoothly gliding on in there, and then uh, just about ready to pick up the point of interest, which is the cricket pitch. So you can see there, once it gets to that uh, fourth waypoint, it's going to focus on the cricket pitch, and then as it goes to the fifth, it'll just remain locked on that cricket pitch. So we'll have another look at the footage straight out of the Mavic. And there's the cricket pitch. Not that exciting, but you can imagine if it's a building or a statue or a car or something a bit fancy, person maybe, that, um, that that's a bloody helpful feature because have a look at that. She's pretty rock solid. And once it gets to this end waypoint, boom, mission complete. And it'll come up and say, mission complete. Funny that. Uh, now I chose to command it to return home and land. Again, if you're within that 20 meter zone, the Mini will just land itself. So just bear that in mind. Um, I ran a separate mission after this where I actually had it finish oh, about 40 meters away and boom, she returned home and landed just about on my toes. So I was most impressed. But um, there you go, folks. Overall, what a ripping success. Loved the app. Absolutely recommend it to anyone that uh, wants to do waypoint missions. And yeah. I reckon I'll be posting a few more. Catch you later.